So check this out. If you want to record some music, maybe do a podcast, maybe do some live streaming, I have a really cool product for you. This is the Snydeo Live 100 audio interface. Sinedo, by the way, it's Sinedo. And it is more than just an interface. Look at how cool this thing is. And I'm actually recording on it right now, so I could be like, all right, guys, welcome to my channel. Let's get things started. Can you feel it? By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to review cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, don't be a stranger. Click that button right there. Also, if you can reach it, you can click this button right there. I'd appreciate it very much. I have links to everything down in the description, plus a surprise link, so check it out. So this arrived and I opened it up and I was like, how? cool is this? This looks so awesome. And the more you look at it, the more you realize how many cool functions and features this thing has. On the front of it, you have your mic one and mic two inputs. And these are eighth inch jacks that you can go to any kind of mic input. So right now I have an eighth inch jack going to this. It's a large diaphragm condenser mic. It actually sounds really good. I don't even know what the price is. They don't have it on their website. You also have an input for a headset. So if you had like, you know, your headphones that had the microphone on it, that actually will work with that. And then next to that, you have your headphone jack. On the back of it, you have your on and off switch. You have a USB-C DC power plug that you can plug it into any kind of USB outlet. Next to that, you have your USB-C that goes to your computer. You also have a line out in case you want to go to some powered speakers or something like that. You have a quarter inch headphone jack as well. Then they have this Live 1, Live 2, and Live 3. You can plug in some extra music sources, some other microphones. And next to that, you have an instrument plug, which you can plug your guitars. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey. Then we just have a generic line in, and you have an XLR microphone input. That is a really good feature to have. It's nice to have an XLR input. They also provide a quarter inch input for a mic as well. So you have a lot of input options here. Looking at the interface itself, let's just start with the top here. You have your microphone volume, so maybe it needs to be a little bit louder, maybe a little bit softer. You can adjust that right there. You can also adjust the treble and bass. Then you have a volume knob for the line in or the instrument. Those live inputs, you have a volume knob separate for those. You have recording volume levels. You have an echo level knob, so if I turn that up, you can hear a little bit of echo kind of coming through. There's a background music volume knob. Then there's also uh, a music volume. So when you have some music coming into it, uh, you can adjust that as well. Next to that, you have your headphone monitor knob so that you can adjust how loud you want your headphones. Under that, you have your phantom power 48 volt switch. So if you have microphones that require more power, you can flip that thing on and that would help out. Um, you also have Bluetooth on this thing where you can connect to your phone or your tablet or anything wirelessly to it. And that way you can actually play background music through that just wirelessly. Maybe even like if you want to do some karaoke sessions, that's a great way to do that. Down below that, we have a denoise button. And what's cool about that, like, so check this out. So I'm going to hit that once and it's going to denoise it a lot more. Actually, it sounds really quiet now when I'm not talking. You can press it again and it's even more like it is dead quiet when I'm not talking. And then I can hit it again and it's even more. So if there is a lot of noise going on in the background, you can hit that denoise on there and that will work great for killing out any background noises that aren't above a certain decibel level. So I turn that off now. You can hear the difference big time, right? That's so cool that it's just a button that you can press. And so what Dodge does, <laughs> that's a weird thing to say, but uh, when you have background music playing, you can hit Dodge on and when you're talking, it will actually duck down that music and put it in the background so that your voice is amplified over that. And then when you start talking, yeah, that's quick. I like that, that's cool. Then we have loopback, so when you have it connected to your computer, you can turn loopback on and you can have the sound kind of running through it separately. Vocal cut is very interesting because uh, when you have background music going through there, you can actually hit vocal cut and it will cut out the vocals from the music. We'll play a song here. Can't play a lot of it, otherwise I get in trouble. But here, watch this, check this out. I feel so close. Look at that, I just pressed the button and it's gone. Now I can start singing, you know, if I wanted to. So next to that, we actually have different vocal effects. So uh, we have uh, boy. Uh, now, hello, welcome to the podcast. I'm apparently a boy. And, and uh, now I'm a girl. Uh, this is child. <laughs> actually, this more sounds like the lollipop killed. Then you have Warcraft. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Then we have Mars. <laughs> 
Anybody want a peanut? And then we have Robot. This is Robot. Bad Robot. Or uh, Christmas, Christmas time of year. Okay, let's move on. So then next to that, we actually have a background music. And there's ones that are already on there. So we have like booing, <laughs> awkward, <laughs> cheering. Just a little bit low quality. Um, <laughs> laughter, applause, and then that opening. I wish that you could customize those ones specifically so you can put different kind of awkward like crickets or whatever. However, they do have three customizable buttons up here at the top. And if you wanted to record something, you could either have a, a different source coming in and all you do is hold down and record it. So right now I'll just do my voice because that's what's plugged in. I'm going to use this Mars voice here. So we're going to hold down number one. K105 has the greatest music in the world. Pew, pew, pew. I press the button. K105 has the greatest music. You get the idea. So there's three different customizable buttons, which is really cool. Uh, next to that, we have different reverb. We have dry, we have KTV, pop, pro, shout, and dub. And also you have that echo fader knob up at the top. So that's going to be how much of that echo is going to be going through. And then next to that, we have electro, which is actually auto-tuning. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. So that's the Live 100. It's really cool, a really good interface, especially if you're someone doing podcasting, maybe you're someone that wants to record music, want to do some live streams, because it is plug and play. And when you plug it in, it shows up like any other source or any other mic source. Also, I think it's great for people that want to do voiceover work because they really require some really like quiet background noises. And with that like de-noise, you can really make it sound like you're in some kind of like box with all the foam around it. And this whole thing comes in at 179 US dollars, which is actually a great deal because I've used other interfaces before that didn't offer half as much and they were like upwards to $400. So I think this is really cool. It looks awesome. It's gonna have a permanent home here in my studio and uh, I'm gonna use it a lot and utilize it a lot in some different live streams in the future. So you'll be, uh, you'll be hearing a lot from that. That's it for today's product review video. A lot more cool gear coming to this channel. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Mr. Black.